when Elon Musk confidently declared that Tesla's future versions of the Optimus robot could reach production levels of tens of millions of units, the audience could hardly believe the magnitude of what he was promising. According to him, the Optimus Gen 4 could see 10 million robots in circulation. While Optimus 5 might reach 50 to 100 million units globally, it sounded almost unbelievable, yet Musk described these as realistic projections. His comments came during Tesla's Q3 2025 earnings call, where once again the Optimus humanoid robot dominated the conversation more than Tesla's cars. What truly captured attention was Musk's vision of Optimus evolving from a simple household, assistant into an incredibly advanced being capable of performing surgeries with superhuman precision. He suggested a world where everyone could have access to an exceptional surgeon at home, an idea that would have sounded absurd only a few. Years ago, but now seemed like the logical continuation of Tesla's relentless progress in robotics and artificial intelligence. The leaks that circulated earlier about Tesla's upcoming Optimus Gen 4 and Gen 5 models turned out to be accurate, as Musk confirmed that these new iterations would be so human-like that distinguishing between a real person and the robot would be nearly impossible. Musk is well known for making ambitious, sometimes unrealistic claims. But his latest statements were on another level entirely. He even hinted that Tesla now possessed the ability to control a coordinated fleet of robot army. As he phrased it throughout the call, Elon Musk emphasized that Tesla had made revolutionary improvements in the robot's design. The company was enhancing the robot's capabilities while simultaneously ensuring that the design could be produced at scale, something that earlier versions struggled with. Musk openly admitted that Optimus 2 was nearly impossible to manufacture efficiently, requiring a complete redesign to make the process viable. Over the last three years, Tesla has poured immense effort into pushing Optimus from a prototype stage to something commercially feasible, convincing investors and the public that the future of the company lies, not just in cars, but in artificial intelligence embodied in humanoid robots. Musk has stated several times that the Tesla bot, once mass-produced, will become Tesla's highest-selling product of all time, surpassing even the company's vehicles. He went further, claiming that Optimus could reach productivity levels five times higher than a human worker, since it could operate continuously, 24 hours a day, without needing breaks or sleep. He explained that the robot could even be plugged in directly for uninterrupted operation, effectively removing downtime. The Q3 call's biggest reveal, however, was Musk's announcement that Optimus version 3, Tesla's most advanced humanoid robot, so far was nearing completion and would be officially unveiled in the first quarter of the coming year. Musk's description of the new model was striking. He explained that Optimus 3 would appear so lifelike that observers might have to touch it to believe it was actually a robot. The refined aesthetics, seamless external panels, and subtle movement details would completely disguise the mechanical nature beneath. Gone would be visible joints or exposed mechanisms. Instead, Tesla's engineers were focusing on fluid, graceful movement that would make the robot's gestures nearly indistinguishable from a human's. Rumors about additional upgrades like an OLED display for expressive facial features, Grok AI voice integration, and ultra-dexterous hands were circulating online. While Musk didn't officially confirm these features, he didn't deny them either. Fueling excitement even more currently, Musk explained. The company was working with version 2.5 of Optimus, which had already demonstrated astonishing abilities. It could perform complex kung fu routines, hold microphones on stage, and even serve food at Tesla's diner events. These public demonstrations were so convincing that some attendees mistook the robot for a person in costume, but according to Musk, this was just the beginning. Tesla's long-term plan involved producing millions of these robots annually once full-scale manufacturing was established. He restated his earlier projection, N million units for Gen 4 and as many as 100 million for Gen 5, though he acknowledged that many would find such numbers unrealistic. The more immediate goal was to perfect Optimus 3. Insiders believe Tesla is running behind schedule. As this version was initially expected to debut during the upcoming November event, the delay, Musk admitted, was largely due to the complexity of the robot's hands. 
which he described as the most challenging electromechanical component in the entire design. He elaborated that the human hand is a marvel of biological engineering, a robotic equivalent capable of similar dexterity is one of the most difficult tasks imaginable. According to Musk, even if an Optimus unit cost around $50,000, its hands alone could represent 50% to 60% of that cost due to their intricacy. To replicate the structure of human hands, Tesla's engineers were developing a mechanism with five fingers, four of them designed for articulation, and one as an opposable thumb. Each would include various joints of different lengths. Combined with an internal system that mimicked human muscles and tendons, distributed through the forearm. Achieving this required micro-sized actuators that were both extremely powerful and precise. Building hands that could gently hold fragile objects like eggs while still lifting heavy items, like dumbbells, was proving to be an extraordinary challenge, in addition to the hand design. Tesla faced another major barrier mass production. Musk revealed that the company was targeting 1 million units of Optimus per year once the production line reached full scale. But he pointed out a fundamental problem. There was no existing supply chain for humanoid robots. Every component, from motors and sensors, to synthetic skin and power systems, had to be designed and built from scratch. As a result, Tesla had to rely on extreme vertical integration, manufacturing nearly every part internally. This would be a massive undertaking that few companies on Earth were capable of achieving. Despite the difficulties, Musk maintained that Tesla's manufacturing expertise gave it a unique advantage. Another topic that drew immense attention during the call was Musk's claim that Optimus could one day serve as a surgeon. While this might sound like science fiction, he argued that the concept wasn't as far-fetched as it seemed. A humanoid robot tethered for power could theoretically perform medical operations tirelessly and with perfect precision. Robots don't get fatigued, distracted, or emotionally stressed. And when programmed correctly, they maintain consistency that human workers can't match. Musk explained that humans typically work around 2,000 hours per year, whereas a continuously operating robot could achieve 8,760 hours of activity, over four times as much. This justified his claim that Optimus could reach five times human productivity. He admitted that robots would still require periodic maintenance, but emphasized their advantage of consistent performance. Musk suggested that an Optimus working in hospitals could handle not just surgeries, but also logistical and support tasks transporting patients, sterilizing tools, moving equipment, or delivering medications all without fatigue. However, he stressed that Tesla would only deploy Optimus in such environments once it was completely safe. Safety, according to him, was paramount before introducing robots into human-centered spaces. Despite these grand visions, Tesla remains focused for now on training Optimus for household tasks, which Musk considers the first real step toward public adoption. He explained that only once people see a robot successfully helping at home cooking, cleaning, or assisting with daily chores will they begin to trust it and demand more complex applications. For decades, the idea of humanoid robots living among humans was something confined to science fiction. The image of a robot making breakfast, washing dishes, or opening a fridge seemed like fantasy, seen only in movies like I, Robot. But Tesla's Optimus Gen 3 is pushing those boundaries closer to reality. Musk revealed that the human hand has 27 joints, tendons, and muscles. And Tesla's engineers have used this as a biological blueprint, integrating up to 22 degrees of freedom in each robotic hand. This design enables Optimus to perform delicate operations such as slicing tomatoes, spreading mayonnaise, or holding an egg without crushing it tasks that no other robotics company has managed to master. Many competitors can build robots that can run or jump, but few can peel an orange or spread butter evenly on bread the robot's perception system is equally advanced. Using high-resolution cameras and 3D sensors, Optimus perceives the world much like a human does. It doesn't merely recognize shapes. It understands the function of each object it sees. Tesla's engineers have trained Optimus to know what a knife is used for, what a jar of sauce is, or what a frying pan does. 
This learning is embedded in the robot's neural system, enabling it to make instant, logical decisions when performing tasks. Over the past year, Optimus has been undergoing intensive training in Palo Alto, working 16 hours a day. The most revolutionary aspect of its learning is its ability to self-train through simulated environments. Instead of being programmed manually, Optimus learns by watching videos of human behavior such as making a sandwich hand, then repeating those tasks in a virtual setting until it perfects them. This new method of learning, which Elon Musk often refers to as simtorial, represents a massive leap.